In this video, you will learn that how we can import data from SQL Server. So for this, you need to open your Visual Studio 2019 that we had installed in the last video. And when you will open Visual Studio 2019, you will see this kind of interface. And uh, you have to click here, create new project. And uh, you can search, for example, tabular and here you have to select analysis services tabular project just double click we have to write the name of the project it will be tabular tabular tutorial right this is the name of the project tabular tutorial and here you need to select the location and uh, this is the solution name the same name as we have the project name and if you want this solution file and the project in the same directory, you can click here. And uh, this is the framework. You Normally you don't need to choose anything here from the framework. You can see different versions of framework, but we will continue with the default, right? And uh, here you have to click create. And uh, now you can see here, the new window will appear here. The tabular model designer. And here select an analysis service instance to use while authoring projects. So we have two options. One is the integrated workspace and the other is workspace server. But for this course, we will select the integrated workspace. And uh, then you have to just click OK. And here you will see this interface. This is the Visual Studio interface for the tabular model right and um, under tabular model explorer you can see here we have uh, this is the name of the project tabular tutorial the data sources kpis measure perspective so we will cover one by one so before starting the tabular model development the first step is we need to connect to the data source that from which data source we need data right so if we click here if we right click the data sources import from data source and here you can see we are getting different data sources this is the table import wizard and connect to our data source right so here you can see the first is relational databases and it contains different types of relational databases like Microsoft SQL Server, Azure SQL, SQL Data Warehouse and uh, Microsoft Analytics Platform, right? Oracle, Teradata and then we have the multi-dimensional sources. If you have the like uh, analysis service that belong to the multi-dimensional mode then you can directly import that data. And then we have a data feed. Under text files, we have Excel files and text files. But uh, for this course, we are interested in to connect to the Microsoft SQL Server. You just need to select this and then you have to click Next. And here you can see, this is the name of the, uh, here you have to choose the friendly connection name. This is SQL Server. You, you can change, you, you can write any name here. Here we have to write the server name. So for this, we need to open SQL Server Management Studio so that we should know that what is the name of the server. So here you can see the SQL Server Management Studio. And this is the name of the server, right? We just need to copy and we need to paste it here. We have to select here, use Windows Authentication database name you can choose here it's so adventure was dw 2016 test connection click here and see the test connection succeeded so everything is fine so this is the table import wizard right and then we have to click next uh, under this dialog box we need to select service account right and then we have to click next so in this table import wizard, we have to choose, choose how to import the data. 
So how we have to import data? We have two options. Select from a list of tables and views to choose the data to import. So we will do one by one so that you should know that what is the difference between these two. So first of all, select the first one and then click next. And here you can see we are able to see all the available tables in the SQL server, right? And for example, we are interested here. You have to choose uh, like uh, dim customer, then date. And here you have to choose the employee, geography, product, product category, subcategory. And then we have to choose one fact table that is fact internet sales, right? So these are the things. And uh, then we have here the friendly name. The, uh, under this column, you can change this name that uh, because if you if we write here, if we remove dim, then in the client tool where we will use where we will consume this data model, this name will be appear there, right? And the same for the instead of dim date, we will just write date right so and the other we will change time to time so we will first deploy this model to the analysis server and then we will connect to the power bi desktop and then we will perform some changes here and then check these changes in the power bi desktop so you can better understand what we are doing here and what is the effect right and uh, with this option select related table if you click this table then all the connected table will automatically select it because the tabular model will detect all the tables automatically and then connect with the relevant primary and foreign keys and with this option preview and filter if you click uh, preview and filter and for, for for this you you first need to select any any table for example if we select the like the dim product and then you have to click preview and filter it's just like the power query if you click here and then under text filter you you can apply different conditions here right so we will cover this topic later first of all because the focus of today's video is how to import data and uh, then we have to click uh, once you are you have selected all your table you can click finish and here you can see the data is being fetched from the sql server and load into the model just click close and here you can see these are the different tables here like customer date team employee and uh, team product right all these things if you want to add uh, more tables in the model you have to click here under tabular model explorer here you can see data sources right you just need to click here and uh, then we have to choose existing connection this is the existing connection that we have we had already just open it and then you can see the same option click next and here for example if we want to add uh, like a dim promotion this table then select and finish and click close and here you can see the dim promotion right and in the same way for example if we try to add one more table here on the data source click and use the existing connections and here you have to click open if you click edit here you can see this is the connection right the name of the the data source let me zoom it so here you can see this is the the name of the the data source and then here this is the name of the database and that's all and here you can rename the the friendly name for the connection so you can just remove this part and then click save you need to select this connection string here and then click open and this time instead of uh, 
selecting from the list of the tables we will select the right query right and then we we will click next and here we have to write the sql statement so in the next video we will write one sql query to import data from the sql server to the data model so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you